Hello and welcome to PMCLounge.com. Today we are talking about the difference between validation and verification. Do they sound similar? Do you use these two words interchangeably? From project management perspective, are these two different? If yes, then what exactly is the difference? Let's get started. Now, depending on the industry that you work in, right, in addition to uh, the daily usage, you might use these two words interchangeably. But then, depending on the industry that you work in, these two terms can be used interchangeably. That's totally fine to use these two terms. But then, depending on some other industries where it is not acceptable that you use these two words interchangeably, it could be totally disastrous if you use these two words interchangeably. Validation might mean something different and verification might mean something totally different. So from project management perspective, we are PMC Lounge, we talk about project management. So let's focus on project management. From the industry of project management, these two terms carry quite a different meaning. So as a PMP certified project manager, as a professional in the project management industry, you should not be using these two terms interchangeably. So what is the difference between these two? Let's take a look at that. Let's first try to understand the definition of these two. Starting off with validation. So validation is related to the validate score process. We have already discussed this uh, process in detail and I'll share the link in the description below on what uh, on the entire validate scope process video that we have done. Also, this is part of the scope management knowledge area. So the uh, link to the entire playlist of scope management will also be available in the description below. So validation is related to validate scope process. Now obtaining clients or key stakeholders formal acceptance on deliverables is precisely validation. We discussed this in the validate scope process video as well, right? When you are trying to obtain the client's approval on your deliverable, you are basically performing the validate scope process, right? So that is validation, right? Once the client approves a deliverable or the key stakeholders, they approve of the deliverables, you, you have basically uh, performed the validate scope process. You have done validation. Coming to verification, now verification means evaluation, right? So verification is basically evaluation of whether requirements, regulations, specifications, or imposed conditions are being met, right? So we talked about how validation is done by a client and key stakeholders. Who does verification? That will be much more clearer when we uh, take a look into an example in the next slide. But to understand the difference between the two, validation from definition perspective is related to the validate scope process. You are basically obtaining client's approval on your deliverables. Verification, you are checking that these deliverables are following the requirements. These deliverables are following the regulations, specifications, or imposed conditions, right? So that is verification. From example perspective, let's talk about a software project, right? So you're working on a software project that has several features. Now let's say one of the feature is ready. So if your feature is ready, you are going to be, um, as a project manager, right? You are going to ask the development team to take that feature and go to the testing team, right? And ask the testing team to perform testing. So the quality team or the testing team is going to be performing testing. That testing is basically verification, right? The testing team is doing an evaluation. They are checking whether the code, uh, you know, is in line, whether the code has the quality, whether the code follows the, the regulations, right? The standards uh, from the organization perspective, right? So testing team is, is basically the stakeholder is basically the owner of verification here. Once the testing is complete, the feature can be then per presented to the client, right? And you can seek the formal approval of the client. That is known as validation. That is the validate score process, which we just talked about, right? So here's the difference, right? When you're 
code is ready when testing is being done that process is known as verification once the testing is complete you present the code to the client you seek their approval you obtain their approval that is validation verified code and validated code are the two things here that we are talking about basically so in certain texts if you read about validation and verification you will find uh, that these uh, terms are defined as being internal or external certain texts say that verification is internal right since the testing team in our example above as well verification is something that is being done by the testing team so you may think that okay this is something which is internal while validation is something wherein you're seeking the approval of the client so this is something which is external but that might not be true at all times so i just wanted to uh, you know kind of have this note out there so that you don't get confused if you're reading certain text right so uh, verification can be internal validation can be external but that might not be the case at all times and that is all that we had in this video do hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and check us out on our social media our handle is pmc lounge on youtube facebook as well as twitter and do check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free resource for pmp and other project management certification as well as project management industry information thank you